Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an export uh, from your drawing for your, your hotel suite project and prepare it for rendering in Photoshop. So it's important to follow me step, step by step and create a PDF of your document, okay? So first of all, I need you, actually I want you to create um, a folder for yourself uh, and rename it to Photoshop so you can go ahead and save your file over there. In the next step, I want you to create a save as, actually open your hotel suite drawing, the final one. So you have everything in here, the layers, line weights, and everything has been set up. So create a save as of this drawing and for example, rename it to um, hotel suite Photoshop file. Okay. And then now we are going to uh, make changes and prepare it for the export. Now I want you to open layer properties and uh, change the layer line weights. Okay. So I want you to change all of them except the format layer. Just keep it as it is, okay? And as you can see, our line weights are in inches, right? So go ahead and change the values to, for all layers, change the value to this one, 0 0.005 inches, okay? Next one. Keep the format layer as it is, so it should be 0 0.02. Continue with the next one. A structure, I'm going to change it. And also the last layer. Okay. And something else over here. So some of you have kind of uh, changed these settings related to plot. I don't know when or why, because you see this red mark over the plot uh, symbol over here. So if this is like this, when you print your drawing, you won't see these layers in your print. And it looks like it's a blank document. So you need to activate the plot for all layers so we can see them uh, in your print. Next, I want you to go to the layout. Okay, plan view layout. And then, um, okay, so make sure the viewport layer is freeze. So we don't want to see this kind of blue line over here. So come here and freeze the viewport layer. So you cannot see that anymore. And also make sure that your title block is filled in. So uh, we don't want to have this title block empty, okay? So fill in your title block and then you just go ahead and hit Ctrl P. I'm going to pick this one, DWG to PDF. This paper size should be letter and f in the plot area choose extend. Don't forget to center the plot for those of you who have Max. If you remember, we have talked that about that previously. You have a blue button just somewhere around here that you need to pick. So center the plot. And now these two options over here are kind of new for you. So increase the quality to maximum and also change the plot style to monochrome. So why do we do this? Why do we change the plot style to monochrome? Because we want our drawing to be in black and white, right? Because we are going to use it in Photoshop and we need it to be black and white only. We don't want to see the colors. Now let's hit preview and see how does that look like. And make sure you don't kind of play with these uh, numbers in a scale or something like that. Okay. Do not change this. This should be one by one. Okay. And that is how it does look like. It's going to look like this. I'm going to hit escape 
and then save it somewhere on your computer, okay? Save it in the Photoshop folder and So this is the file that I have and as you can see I have some marks over it uh, on the corners, right? So I'm gonna edit my PDF. So if you have Adobe Acrobat P Pro DC, you, you have this option and you can do, you can follow me and do whatever I'm doing, okay? So here on the right side, click on edit PDF and then you just need to uh, click and select this portion the mark and hit delete. So select them and hit delete. We don't want to see those marks in our drawing. And then hit close. And don't forget that this should be filled. Okay. And then just control S to save it over the file that you had. Okay. Now next I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Okay, so open your Photoshop and then I'm gonna click on open and then look for your file and find it and then open it. Okay, so there are two important things in this window that you need to check and make sure they are correct. The first one is the resolution. Make sure it is 300, not less than 300 and this one is uh, cropped to make sure this is media box. Okay, so by default it is um, bounding box. You need to change it to media box and it's so important because it is going to kind of determine um, the size of your paper and image size. Okay, so just hit OK. And so media box and 300 resolution open your file and this is your drawing so and you know um, how to create a white background for that so come here click on this and then solid color go all the way to the corner and create white color actually choose white color and then bring it down uh, below your layer one and rename your layer one to for example the floor plan so you can recognize that Okay, and that's it. You can start working on your drawing. And one thing that I haven't mentioned in the previous window, uh, previous video um, in floor plan is that you need to fill in your walls. Okay, so if you want to do that, just similar to what we have done in the uh, video for the elevation or something like that, you need to pick layer one. Just don't forget to rename it because you're going to get confused when you start working with layers. So pick layer one and then in your drawing, we don't want to see these lines over the door. OK, so um, go ahead and in your drawing, delete those if you haven't done that yet. OK, then we need to use magic man tool and then while layer one is selected, pick the walls just click inside the walls and to actually to um, select multiple areas you need to hold the shift key on the keyboard and then select all of them create create a new layer and then for example wall and then you need to use a solid color to fill in the walls so i'm gonna pick for example a color like this and then you can use the bucket tool paint bucket tool to just um, color it okay and then bring it down below the layer one because you want to see these lines these black lines over the gray color okay and yeah that's it and then you can continue working on your floor plan